Hi. Today I thought I'd do a little um, um, video on ectopic beads. Now, uh, what are ectopic beads, ectopic heartbeats? Ectopic heartbeats are extra heartbeats uh, that are often felt abnormally and cause people a lot of concern. Um, so um, I'll first tap out uh, what an ectopic heartbeat feels like and then I'll try and explain it in very simplistic terms um, <clears throat> so that you can understand why this happens. Um, so the first thing to say is that <clears throat> if this is a normal heartbeat like this, what um, people experience when they get ectopic beats is this. And then there's a missed beat followed by a huge thud and things catch up. And then again, missed beat, big thud, big thud, and then it gets back to normal. Um, and a lot of people will experience this and this can happen several times in a minute. Um, it's usually more noticeable at rest rather than on exertion. And um, a lot of people actually feel can feel dizzy when this happens. Some people complain of pain in the chest because, because of the thud. Uh, and uh, it causes people a lot of concern. Um, now, generally, extra beats like this are not dangerous. They're a completely normal phenomena, which is being uh, sensed abnormally by the patient. Um, and the simplest way to try and describe why this happens is through a little story, um, and, and this is how I learned what happened, uh, what happens. So when I was um, a medical student, I was fortunate enough uh, to see my first ever heart transplant, and um, one of the most remarkable things was that when they took the heart out of the donor and disconnected it, the heart continued to beat. Uh, and that was pretty amazing for me as a young student because I thought, well, how can the heart keep beating when it's not connected to anything else? How does it get its own electricity? So I went home and read about it and I realized that the heart is capable of generating its own electricity, uh, which keeps it beating. Uh, that electricity is generated in a part of the heart <clears throat> and that is called the pacemaker. So we are all born with an area in our heart which we term the pacemaker which is responsible for releasing impulses. So um, later on um, I thought, okay, well, I did a little experiment where I took the heart of a dog um, <clears throat> and I decided to cut out the area um, which was the pacemaker. And I fully expected the heart to stop beating when I did that. But remarkably, when I did that, the heart didn't stop beating. Um, it continued to beat, uh, but there were two differences. The first is that the heart slowed down, and the second is that it did not beat as strongly as it was beating when um, the pacemaker was intact. And that taught me something else. It taught me that uh, there are other areas in the heart that are capable of generating electricity uh, and if needed. However, when they generate electricity from other parts other than the normal pacemaker, the um, mechanical effects that result from that electricity uh, are uh, weaker. I, it still has an electrical presence, but the heartbeat has an electrical presence, but not as much of a mechanical presence as a beat that is produced from the pacemaker. Um, and therefore, this is what happens, you see. So uh, when you have a normal, when, when people get ectopics, what happens is that another part of the heart decides to fire of its own volition. And what happens is this beat that has come from somewhere else has an electrical presence, and therefore it is sensed by the pacemaker who will think that it has fired, so it will have to wait a bit longer. But because it doesn't have much of a mechanical presence, what happens is it feels like a missed beat. So you would get you know, normal beat, normal beat, normal beat, and then you get an extra beat, and that's, that's where you get the extra beat, okay? but you don't feel it. Now the next beat that comes along is from the pacemaker, uh, and this beat um, has to do its own work and pump out all the blood that was left over from the 
extra beat, which was a weaker beat, and therefore didn't pump out any blood. And therefore, because it has to pump out all this extra blood, it is felt as a thud. So you get normal, 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 extra beat, which is felt as a pause, um, and then normal beat coming from the pacemaker, which has to do a lot more work. And that's what the ectopic beats are. So you get normal, 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 extra beat, which isn't sensed, and then normal beat coming from the pacemaker, which is a thud, because that normal beat has to pump out the blood that has been left over from that extra beat, which wasn't doing as much. Um, so, and that is why it feels like a thud. Now, one of the interesting things is that these usually suppress on exercise, so if you're stuck in the middle of the night and you're getting them, uh, just walking around or getting your heart rate up should get rid of them. Um, sometimes they can be a sign of something untoward, and it's always good to get them checked out if you are getting extra beats. I think one of the most useful tests um, is firstly a 24-hour ECG, where someone can therefore document on an ECG what you're actually getting in terms of your rhythm when you get that symptom. And the second thing is to have a heart scan, because if you have a structurally normal heart, then generally this, these are benign. If you have a weak heart, then they may be a little bit more significant. Um, uh, so I think it's really important to try and get them checked out, uh, but don't be too worried about them. They're generally very benign. Uh, and I hope my explanation made sense. Uh, and uh, I just want to thank you for listening to me. Um, if you um, have any questions, then please don't hesitate to get in touch uh, with me via my website, um, or alternatively, you could give me a call. Uh, so I'd like to wish you good night, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.